Glenda, right now, things are very tense. There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is Ford and the CAW seem to be closer on an agreement. The bad news is the CAW says they are still ready to strike. The deadline is just about 24 hours away. Time is of the essence for Canadian auto workers. As of midnight tomorrow, a strike could be called. Late this afternoon, CAW leadership held a press conference in Toronto. General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler equally were reluctant to send a signal. They were reluctant to show their cards. And our members said, if you have to call it upon us to withdraw our labor, we're there. But now there is a glimmer of hope. The head of the CAW is saying a deal with Ford is getting closer. I'm incredibly um, pleased to announce that Ford Motor Company has shown an initiative. They've shown the Ford Bargaining Committee a tremendous amount of respect. CAW leadership is optimistic that if an agreement with Ford can be reached, Chrysler and GM will follow suit. I've asked the Chrysler team, the GM team, to keep prodding, keep pushing, to keep meeting. Union leadership acknowledges their costs are higher than in other countries, with the Canadian dollar surging against other currencies. And right now, no details of the negotiations are being released. The CAW represents 21,000 workers in the Detroit Three. We'll see how it all plays out. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waits, 7 Action News. Glenda, let's go back to you.